All right, we're just getting ready to start working on our basement studio today, but we need to run to the hardware store because we have no sanding screens for our shop vac and we have run out of sandpaper. So to the hardware store we go. I got my products that I needed, sand and screen, sponge, and my mask. Here in my sha sha sha. Welcome to part one of Well, welcome to part one of probably six of this basement renovation makeover into our photography slash video slash YouTube studio slash set slash filming place. But what? A uh, renovation of the basement episodes. I don't know what I'm calling this, but we're just gonna say it's just the vlog, but this is probably like one of five, six or seven vlog episodes about this studio makeover. Okay, some of you guys have been asking for some updates on the house. Um, we're not gonna show you guys the house until it's close to being finished. We are filming it. So we decided to dedicate this entire basement to our studio, which is something we did back in our first house in St. John's. Uh, I'll link the blog post up here if you wanna see it. We basically converted our entire basement into a photo studio. Um, so this is not our first renovation. This is actually our second home we're renovating. and. Um, if you guys haven't been following us for a long time, we actually started our internet content making home renovation and DIY content for a blog that we had. 2011 to 2016, we basically blogged our entire home renovation. So the plan today, we've got the walls plastered. So we're gonna sand them down now, and then we're going to prime them with like a kills primer, which is like good for mold, mildew, things like that, to kind of um, kill it and then hide it as well, which is good. So we're gonna do that. We just spent last week clear coating the floor down here. So we're gonna keep the concrete floor. I just had like an acrylic dust proofer sealer that I used over the whole floor and uh, just kind of put this like water-based coating over the floor so that it's not like dusty when you walk on it so your socks don't get dirty. We are gonna cover some of the floor with rugs because obviously it's really echoey down here. So we're gonna be building sound panels. We're gonna be doing accent walls. Yeah, this feels like very much like our old school stuff because we have like a shitload of DIY projects planned for down here. But first, before we can do any of the fun stuff, we have to get the wall sanded. And um, that's why I got this mask on and my overalls. Let's do it. Okay, so I just wanna walk you guys through some of the plans for the space and then we're gonna get into the DIY project. Moving over into this space, this is gonna be the main filming area. So this is where our couch setup is gonna go. We're gonna have a big rug on the floor, nice couch. We're gonna do that OSB black wall all over this wall here. So it's gonna kind of match, gonna be kind of two cohesive spaces. We're gonna double as our podcast area. So we're gonna have podcasting mics on stands that we can move into the space. We're gonna be building some sound panels, obviously, because there's a really bad echo in here. And coming over to this side of the space, let's bring this light over. This side of the space is gonna be where our tabletop setup is gonna go. So where we do our unboxings and some of our tutorials where we like to have a laptop kind of a desk setup. That's what's gonna go here. So big rug on the floor. We're gonna do a black slat wall here. That's the plan for now with some hanging lights, some fake plants, cause there's no natural light down here. And then we're probably gonna have some kind of overhead rig as well, whether that's a sea sand or something attached to the ceiling. We're leaving the ceilings open so we can, you know, attach things and put lights up there and stuff like that. So it should make it a little bit more versatile. And then on this blank wall here, we um, ordered some wall mountable backdrop stands. So this is gonna be just backdrops. I got a gray, a black and a white backdrop. So we're gonna hang those here and then there's a huge other part of our basement that's over on this side. And unfortunately the furnace and the pool filter is on the side and they make a lot of noise. So we're gonna have to figure out some way to kind of close this space off. That's not permanent because we don't want to put up a permanent wall. So right now we're toying with the idea of building a faux 
window. So that will be exciting if that works out. So stay tuned for that. We'll uh, probably put that in a separate video. So as you walk into this room, we have this giant wall here. So this is gonna be all shelving, which I actually have out there. You see me put them together in a video, I'll link them up here. This is just gonna house most of our gear, most of our like lighting equipment, stuff that we're not using all of the time. Right behind me here, this is gonna be an OSB covered wall, which is gonna be painted black. Hopefully that works out. I did a couple of tests and so hopefully it looks okay on the wall. So we're gonna do bag storage here. We're gonna have a cabinet there. But yeah, I'm excited to see this place um, come together. It's definitely less of like a finished room and more of a set. Now, of course, on this other weird pocket over there, we're gonna have the drone factory and that will have like a movable table that will float in the middle of the room. And then on the back wall, I think we're gonna do some kind of like large built-in desk cabinetry type thing. Um, we want a space for Chris's 3D printer, but we also want a place for him to be able to lay his drone bag down, open it up and kind of take stuff out and put his drones up on shelves and things and um, probably do a big pegboard for his tools and some shelving and stuff like that. So um, that's gonna be a work in progress, still kind of figuring out what that's gonna be. Definitely gonna bring that black OSB wall um, around into that space. And I think we're gonna do some kind of wallpaper as well. So it might look like a lot of accent walls, but we kind of want each area to be really filmable and uh, look great on camera. So that's the plan. I also have to refinish my desktop because right now it's like a dark brown and I want it to be a natural finish. So last night, I started sanding this and realized that the material is pretty deep in this table. This morning I went out and I got 40 grit. And I also got a 36 just in case. And once it's off, I'll kind of work my way up with the finer grit sandpaper to smooth it out. Okay, I got my, my clothes on. It's pretty cold out here. Hoodie, overalls, let's go. mouse abatement. You guys remove rodents ranging in death times from like a few months ago, maybe to like full on skeleton. I have to get rid of the carcasses. Cool, 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 cool. Right? Great. All right, thanks so much. We'll see you then. Yeah, so the joys of living in the wilderness. So the pest control company said that they can come bait the mice. It's gonna be like a week and a half before we're gonna be able to continue our project. So things are kind of on hold until we can get rid of the mice. And once the mice are gone, then we have to safely clean up and disinfect the areas in which the mice pooped. They've also damaged some insulation, so we're gonna to have to replace that. But shit, that like puts us back like a week and a half, which is unfortunate because this is, is very messy and we really need to get that drone factory done, so cool. Now we wait. This is the type of stuff that always happens. You think a project is gonna go easy and then you find something. Luckily, this time it was only mice. There it is. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. If you guys have seen our Bahamas video, you know I hate mice, so I'm freaking the fuck out right now. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Here in my car. The Terminators are on the way. The mouse, it's dead. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Do you not like it? No, it's big. <gasps> well, that was, just means that the traps are doing its job. their job. Yeah. Dude is like, I'm setting 30 traps. He's like, I'll 90% of the problem taken care of right away. There you go. Well, there's 90% of it.